Next step is put the oil pump on. Uh, I had purchased a Melling uh, high pressure pump. Uh, other than that, it's basically stock. The pump just bolts direct to the front of the engine. Uh, there's no gaskets or seals or anything needed. Then torque to 18 foot pounds. Now we can put the uh, oil pump pickup tube on, but before that we have to put the windage tray on. Um, which is going to take a little bit of modification. The oil pan I'm using is a Holly LS conversion oil pan. And the reason I'm using it is because it is super um, thin up here in the front to help clear my cross member. Uh, this pan is designed to be used with an F-body windage tray. The windage tray that I have is not a F-body windage tray. I'll show you what the problem is. With the windage tray in place, there's two issues. Uh, one, the, uh, the pickup tube here in the front is cut way down because of how low that pan is or how shallow the pan is. Um, and it doesn't really clear. Okay. And the other issue is that the front half of this windage tray does not clear the oil pan either. So uh, Holly recommends to cut this and um, to notch out for the tube. You'll see that even with the or without the uh, oil pickup tube see the front of the pan here you hear it hitting there's about a uh, I don't know three-eighths of an inch gap there in the front. And again if you take oops, the winch tray out pan fits down fine. The other thing I have to be concerned about too uh, as I prepare to put the get this thing set up for the oil pan is that it, this is my old pan here the dipstick went into this boss here on the oil pan right there. The problem is the holly pan does not have any provisions for dipstick. That's okay the block has a provision right here um, but because my block originally had the dipstick in the pan there's a plug in this hole on the inside of the engine it's uh, let's see it's right right there so uh, you need to pound that plug out from the inside out uh, before the pan ever gets put on um, not that we're putting the pan on right now but once the once the wind just trays in there you can't get at it so I'm gonna get that pounded out right now just using a big center punch and a hammer For Holly, we need to cut the front of the windage tray off to clear the pan on 14 and a quarter from the back. So I'm going to scribe a line here. Here's the cut down tray. That's the, the piece I cut off. Let's see if the pan fits. As you can see, if you put just put the pan like this, line up the holes. Let's see. You can see it's you had to cut off for this part of the pan here. Well, let's see if it fits. Yep. All right. It's a little hard to see, but even with. Uh, the tray cut back, you put the pickup on here, um, it hits right here. Um, you can see that the pickup flange here doesn't go down level. So we need to cut a little notch out for clearance. You can kind of see it, you can see it right there. It's hitting right there and again the flange, it's already hitting and the flange is not flat up against the oil pump. Here's a notch that I'm going to cut in here. Um, so I spent some time cleaning up the windage tray with uh, filing the edges and making sure that all that fine grinding dust was off of it. So we're now at the stage where we can put that in permanently. Um, it kind of goes on in conjunction with the uh, pickup tube for the, uh, for the oil. Um, so this is it here. This fits into the oil pump. Needs to have an O-ring on it. Um, the, this came with the oil pan. This is the o-ring that came with the oil pan, so 
just going to put that on here like this. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll oil this up uh, before we put it on. So first thing I do is put the luggage tray in, in place. And uh, I'm going to, they recommend to put some oil into the oil pump, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I am going to prime this thing before we start it, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and do what they suggested and put a little bit of oil in there. Certainly can't hurt. And then on the um, oil o ring and um, in the oil pump here, need to oil that up so that it can go in without pinching the o-ring at all. Alright, so this needs to get pushed down into that hole and you need to push it all the way down before uh, you put the screws in. You don't want to use the screws to draw it down. So I've got the o-ring pushed down. Uh, the retaining bolts are to be tightened to 106 inch pounds. Next step is to put all the retaining nuts on for the windage tray. And these are to be tightened down to 18 foot pounds. <laughs> 